<clears throat> All right, this is, the, I think this is the last one I, I wanted to talk about. Uh, it doesn't have circular motion like the other three videos here. Um, but we saw, actually, this is the one we saw in class, the multiple choice question, and we didn't really have time for a full explanation, so let's take a look at it right now. What do we have here? We've got blocks A and B. They're not connected. Block A is just sitting on top of block B, and there's a, some kind of string attached to block B, and that's being pulled horizontally with the tension force. Now, it also says that the blocks, they both move to the right at uh, constant speed here. And so we want to find how large, oh, I didn't put that up here, how large is the horizontal force that block B exerts on block A. All right, and um, well, yeah, we've, it seems like there's forces involved here. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to choose block A uh, that's the object we're going to study in this case because the question asks how large is the force that B, how large is the horizontal force that B exerts on A. So I want to study the forces on block A. On block A, it has some, it has some weight, it's some force of gravity acting on block A. It also has some normal force. Block B is pushing upwards on block A, certainly. And now we need to think about whether there's any horizontal force. Actually, first of all, what, what possibly could be, what type of force could we have here, a uh, horizontal force between these? It wouldn't be gravity, it wouldn't be a normal force. The normal force um, you know, must be perpendicular to that surface where they're in contact. Now, this tension force is being applied to block B below. It is not being applied directly to block A. So there's no tension force on block A. So the only forces that we're left with are kinetic and static friction. And since both blocks are moving to the right with constant speed, it's not going to be sliding. There's not going to be any sliding between those blocks. So the only possibility is static friction force. Now, um, let's take a look at this statement here. The blocks move to the right with constant speed. It means they're moving in the same direction at the same speed. They have a constant velocity. Both blocks individually have a constant velocity. That means this block up above here, block A, has zero acceleration, zero acceleration. And we, we've seen a number of times here that, uh, and maybe we'll just think about the x component here. If block A has zero acceleration, then it has zero x component of acceleration. And if that's the case, then it has, then this must be equal to zero. Now, we saw that the only possible uh, horizontal force that block A can have, the only possibility is from block B down below. And, well, it's zero. That's it. Actually, I'll just add a little bit to this one. What if we were pulling with this tension force on block B? What if the, uh, what if the blocks weren't moving at constant speed? What if they were speeding up together? If they were speeding up, then the, uh, then both blocks would have an acceleration in the same direction as their velocity. So we could maybe call that a positive x direction. There would be some acceleration in that direction, and so block B must be exerting uh, a, for a horizontal force on block A above in that direction. And the only possibility would be static friction, what type of force. So that's that.